to show you how to service and maintain it by doing the following four procedures. How to replace or install your new AED electrode pads. How to replace or install your new AED battery. How to ensure your fast response kit is compliant. As well as how to do your monthly inspection for your AED to ensure it's always ready to be used. But first, let's start with replacing the electrode pads. Have the hard case, undo the latch. Next, unplug the electrode pads top left of the AED and place expired pads to the side. Once this is done, it's time to open the new set of electrode pads. Now, check the expiry dates on the aluminum packaging and open it. Take out the electrode pads and ensure you don't take off the paper from the spiraled cable and plug. Lastly, plug in the electrode pads cable into the AED. Place the new set of electrode pads into the pads sentry found on the left side of the carry case. Since it's considered best practice to have two sets of electrode pads for your AED in the red carry case, you will notice the second, spare set of electrode pads in the lid of your carry case if you have them. Take this out and put in the new set that was sent to you. Also, if we've sent you the second set of pads, please rest assured that we have the expiry dates for the electrode pads in our automated tracking system. In case you were wondering, the following points outline why having an extra set of electrode pads is considered best practice in terms of rescue readiness. If the AED is ever used, you can put it back into service right away. If you're in the midst of a rescue and one of the electrode pads falls to the ground, you can replace it. If the person has a hairy chest and you have to use the electrode pad to remove or shave the person's chest hair, it can be done by using the first set of electrode pads. If you happen to have an infant child key, pink, with your AED, for those of you who work in a school or daycare, for example, I recommend ensuring the pediatric key is present. Lastly, please put the AED back into its protective red carry case and secure it to the wall-mounted bracket or security cabinet. Now that we have the AED out in front of you, undo the Velcro on the soft AED carry case, or if you have the hard case, undo the latch. Now take out the AED. Now remove the battery from the AED. Now, remove the new battery from the plastic packaging and insert it into the AED. Put the battery, bottom end first, into the battery compartment on the back of the AED. Now, press the top end down until the battery clicks into place. Please put the AED back into its protective red casing or hard case. Since it's considered best practice to have two sets of electrode pads for your AED in the red carry case, you may have considered having a second battery as well. If this is the case, or you want to verify if you have an extra battery, the second or spare battery should be beside the AED in the red carry case. Please be aware that a new battery is good for three years from the date of the installation. For your inf close the red carry case lid, you're done. The carry case, and then place the AED into the wall-mounted bracket or security cabinet.